so there was a time when people were requesting me to review the superior os so here it is today i'm going to review the superior os 13 for realme 675 devices that includes realme 6 realme 6i g90 realme 7 narzo 20 pro and narzo 30 4g now let's talk about some important features for which you should install this rom so first of all this rom has the advanced reboot option so no matter you root or do not root you will always have access to the custom recovery so for rebooting to recovery you don't need root now the second one is it has lots of customization like in the superior lab you can see in the themes you have access to all kind of icon style or icon pack and also font in font style you get a lot of custom font then you have all kind of icon packs all kind of signal icon style now the third one which is the most important is the call recording so here you can see the dialer that is used is the usb dialer so you can record calls without any announcement next this rom has unlimited google photo storage now the next one is the viper this rom comes with viper inbuilt so you don't have to root to use viper and the final one is the game mode so in the system if you go to realme settings you will see there is a game mode and this is very effective i will show you in the performance section and here we also have the performance profile you can set to performance and also turn on the game mode for smooth gaming talking about the first look and the overall ui it looks quite cool so if you hold here you have got the home settings and i actually don't know what launcher is used in this rom if you know then let me know in the comment section then then in the widgets we have access to all the widgets in wallpaper and style we have got the themed icons and dark theme the themed icon is working perfectly fine as you can see then we have device shortcuts in device shortcuts you can add torch mute etc so when the screen is off you can turn on the torch this does not work you have to un unlock the screen and talking about the wallpapers you get live wallpaper but this redirects to the wallpaper application currently i have fresh walls wallpapers which is installed but talking about wallpapers you get a dedicated app for the wallpapers it's superior walls which provides the superior OS wallpapers for your device and you get such cool wallpapers right here so let's get to the about info so you can see this is the superior os version 13 which comes with android 13 as you can see and the kernel that is used in the rom is the lineage kernel the version is 4.14.319 and the selenia status is enforcing which is good for security purpose and it comes with 5 june of security patch and this is the about info which looks quite different from other roms now here you can change the device name this name will be displayed for bluetooth and wi-fi hotspot now starting with the network and internet here in network and internet we get private dns and we have some preset options like cloudflare dns edgard dns etc in display we have colors so we can choose different color schemes from here but we cannot choose the rgb because there is an option in battery we have got battery usage battery saver battery manager battery percentage and battery optimization and also the battery temperature talking about the battery backup the battery backup is not very bad it's good we get around six hours of screen on time which is not very much but it's good considering that much customization in this room so you can see when the battery percentage was in 15 percent the screen on time was 5 hours 26 minutes so if you then if you drain this to zero percent we will get around six hours or six plus hours of screen on time so this is the battery backup that we get and talking about the active drain and idle drain the active drain is around 14 to 15 percent normally and the idle drain is 1.33 percent so the idle drain is quite higher than other roms and the active drain is also but if you use your phone not that much then the active drain will drop to 10 percent or sometimes eight percent and here is another screenshot so this is when i unplug the phone the active drain refreshes and it shows 12.60 percent now in sound and vibration here we get separate ring and notification so you can choose different volumes for those then we have per app volume controls and bass loudness so the bass loudness is a kind of amplification of the sound and boost of audio quality and in vibration and haptics we can customize the vibration intensity just like other roms now in security we have face and fingerprint and the face and fingerprint both works pretty well and in fingerprint we get the option of touch to unlock at any time 
which gives faster unlock speed when you use fingerprint. Now in system, we have got realme settings where we get smart charging which is working, then the performance profile, clear speaker, game mode and screen refresh rate and here you can choose both 60hz and 90hz and the fps overlay does not work here you can see i have turned it on but it's not working and i forgot to talk about the developer or maintainer of this rom so this rom is made by go far away big thanks to him now finally let's get to the customization settings which is why the superior os is popular here you get the about info of superior os then in status bar we have network traffic indicator which is working fine then the 4g icon so data disabled icon roaming indicator etc in quick setting we have data usage vibrate on touch qs pull down from right side or left side both then the auto brightness icon if you turn it off you will not see any auto brightness button here here we also have an option to hide the level so when you hide the level it will look something like this but i don't recommend this now in the buttons we have only two options volume awake and playback control then navigation bar we have the system navigation and in system navigation we have an option to use the immersive navigation so what it does yes you guessed it right it removes the ime button space under the keyboard which is quite impressive now in advanced gesture option we have the long swipe action in gesture we have three finger gesture toggle torch when screen is off which is working perfectly fine then the status bar so when you double click on status bar the screen will turn off in lock screen we have fingerprint authentication vibration now in power menu we have got the advanced restart which is pretty handy feature for realme 2.0 based roms and this is working perfectly fine you can see now in themes we have got monet engine you can customize the accent color background color etc then the headline or body font here you get cool options and by default the font is set to evolve sans which looks pretty cool then we have the icon pack the signal icon style the wi-fi icon style and we have got so much options right here you can see the icon shape the nav bar style in notification you got annoying notification make heads up less annoying etc and you can read the description just below the option now in miscellaneous we have get the unlimited google photo storage and unlock higher fps in games so the unlimited google photo storage is working perfectly fine here you can see this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos which means it works then there is nothing left to talk about in the customization and talking about the ram management the ram management is not that good it's quite normal it's not extraordinary like you can see the chrome is running the play store is running the messages the phone so and the wallpaper refreshed so the normal application works perfectly fine but if you add bgmi and any other app like whatsapp telegram then the bgmi and the call of duty both refreshes and this is because of 4gb ram you may get better ram management in 6gb ram variant now let's get to the performance section talking about the stock performance so without any performance script any custom kernel or any kind of module i got this performance so the peak clock performance was not that good it was fluctuating too much and the cpu throttled only 82 percent of its maximum performance so if you want performance i will recommend you to don't use the customization settings and i did not use any script so with script you will definitely get better performance the stock performance is not that good but listen here it comes the most important part we get the realme settings in this rom so when i set the performance profile to performance then the cavc mode turned on and the game mode is turned on i get this much performance here you can see the maximum cpu throttle is 93 percent and the graph is pretty stable and the clock speed are pretty much stable you can see even the big cluster was at stable frequency of 2.05 gigahertz so yes this rom does not need any kind of script or module if you want good performance and also in this rom we get the viper inbuilt so you are going to get a spectacular audio experience in this rom if you install it so you must give it a try i will say now without further delay i will get to the bgmi test so let's get to it so first of all let me introduce you to the game space so we have the AOSP game space here. In the game space, we get few options like stay away, log gesture, 
disable auto brightness disable usb debugging etc and you can also customize the overlay menu opacity and i have added dgmi and call of duty let's run the game but before that let me show you that currently i'm not using the performance mode you can see the performance is set to balance the cibc mode is off and the game mode is turned off as you can see so let's see the performance now and i will say the performance will not be that good because you need to use the game mode for better gaming and this time i'm not not using the screen mirroring because i noticed some fps difference while using the screen mirror and currently the graphics is set to 60 fps with gfx tool and you just need to keep an eye on the fps meter So you can see initially the FPS is 60, so yes the performance is good in this room. So you can see without even turning on the game mode, we are getting close to 60 FPS. Now let's see the performance with the game mode. And the performance profile is set to performance. So after using the game mode, we are getting 60 all the time, but sometimes there is FPS drop up to 48 and 50. So the frame rate drop up to 37 and 27 for a second. And I don't know why currently the FPS is close to 50 but it's not touching 60. I think it's because of GFX tool. If you use any module, the frame rate will be at 60. Talking about the game space, if you click on here, you get the settings. And in settings, you have standard mode, performance mode and battery. And you have the FPS info tile which is working perfectly. You can see the FPS is showing. And you have screenshot and screen recording option. So friends this is the performance with the game mode turned on if you are a serious player you need to do root and use performance script and if you want to install this rom you can follow this video if you are already in any other android 13 rom because the process is same and if you are in realme y 2.0 and want to install this rom then you can directly install that from watching this video in my channel so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the updates i will see you in the next video bye bye